Yeah, good day. Today I finally got hold of my Purple Line Trailer Hitchlock. Very excited about this little thing too. And to show you the box, very pretty little box. All sorts of information on it. I mean, just what you really needed, isn't it? Look at that. Ah, oh, bottom of the box, got to have that. Now, the unit itself is just over here. I've already got it out. Oh, it is all hit too, I might add. And I've got the uh, the little instructions here with the keys. And I haven't even taken them out yet, so I'm very excited about it. Uh, the first impression I've got with this lock is this little rubber cup on the end here. Uh, first time I got it, I thought, oh my God, she's tight to lift off. But it does come off. It's got a nice little um, hole in it as well, so you can actually tie it to the... Um, trailer. Um, I'm quite impressed with that. I'll, try, I'll tie it to this unit if you like. It's, it's not bad. It's a good idea. Nice little touch. It stops the um, water and muck and dirt from getting into your lock and uh, basically making life very difficult for you. So that's that bit there. I've got the manual uh, in my hand at the moment and the most important bit as you can see down the bottom here if I can get in position. Got to read it first. Tells you that. Yeah, about the only thing of uh, real interest in the instructions is this bit here for that little little pin, um, that one there. Yeah, basically they're saying you've got to keep it lubricated um, with either a clear silicon lubricant or a petroleum jelly. It uh, prevents it from seizing, so it keeps the lock uh, activated nicely. So I suppose because of the ball bearings in there, if they jam and it's on the back of your trailer. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun trying to remove it, I think. Hmm. Oh well. Keep going. Tarik and Ultra onto the uh, trailer. Just have a bit of a look to see what it's uh, how it fits. It's uh, pretty secure. But, uh, definitely not going to be coming off. The locking mechanism actually works a lot better than I thought it would. I had trouble with it earlier, um, but it's going fine now bit fiddly to sort of put it together the first time but it all uh, comes apart quite well so again just refitting it it just comes up underneath that fits down Pop the pin through it rotate the lock to the correct position push it in twist pull out and your rubber cup over the top and you're ready to go quick as that is of interest is that this unit this thing obviously doesn't fit if you've got uh, overrides i've loosened this off i'll be taking it off later but you can see there's no way you can physically fit the thing so if you've got an override bar on take it off okay we uh we need this piece so that fits make certain you've got the flat piece, uh, left this piece here, the flat piece facing your trailer, and pop it down and on, slide it up over the top underneath, pop the other piece in, which just sits down, slide your bolt through, grab your lock, of course I've put it in upside down so I can't see where I am, there it goes, and that's it. The unit itself has got a uh, high security trailer hitch lock. Quick and easy to fit, precision made from high strength composite metals, high security 7 pin cylinder lock, tubular high security key, resistant to cutting, picking, drilling and gas freezing, suits most Australian caravan and trailer ball hitches, that's according to the uh, box itself.